Hey, what's going on YouTube? Q here again. And today it's December 30th. And I always wonder if a dealership would be more generous with their trade-in values at the end of the year. So it's the day before the last day of the year. And I've honestly been flirting with the Camaro since the end of October, where they had the conquest for uh you get two thousand extra dollars if you trade in a Mustang for a Camaro. And I was intrigued at that but it's only for the 2019 so i'm going to go to the dealership and see what they appraised my car for back in october they appraised it for between 24 and 25 thousand so they said it's the wrong time of year in michigan to do a trade-in so now i'm going to see what i can get because i did have one dealership offer me 29,000 as of uh like december 17th and i had another dealership offer me 29.5 so I'm going to see if this one dealership that offered me a a lower value of like $25,000, see if they'll up the ante on that. So maybe I'll be in the Camaro, maybe not. So let us head to the dealership and see what they say. So I just made it to the dealership. Let's go in and uh, see what we can do. So at the dealership earlier, I got my, my Mustang appraised, and their initial offer was $25,000. And they said that uh, $25,000 is the best you can do. It's uh, excellent condition. That's the most they can do in this winter time. So they would have a, uh, a hard time selling the car. It will sit there. And if a car sits on the lot for more than 60 days, that uh, it'll cost the dealership money. So I said, wouldn't that be the same about the Camaro? Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure that many people aren't buying Camaros in the winter. So he's like, yeah, but uh, that doesn't apply to new cars. And I don't know if that was true or not, but I really didn't say much after that. So then um, I told the guy, because before I did this, I actually, I've been shopping my car around for a couple of months when I saw that. Chevy was giving Mustang owners an extra $2,000 towards the purchase of a Camaro. So I inquired about that in October or November. And uh, I'm like, man, I could get the Camaro I want. Because I initially wanted a Camaro, but the 2019 was so ugly that uh, I had to pass on it. That's why I got a 2019 Mustang. But they fixed that after one year on the Camaro. So the 2020 looks good again. And so... Uh, I told the guy that back then I got 31000 back in November. And uh, I actually contacted that same dealership that gave me an offer for 31000 And now they said they would give me 29000 And uh, I went to another dealership as well. And they also offered they offered twenty nine five. So uh, the guy goes back to, uh, to talk to the guy in the back. And... Uh, he says, best I can do is 27.5. And then at that point, I was like, well, if, if that's the case, I can just go to one of the other dealerships and they can just do a vehicle swap. They do that all the time. That's how I got this Mustang here. It was at a different dealership, but I went with the salesperson I was comfortable with. And they were able to, uh, I think they traded an F-150 for uh, this Mustang that I'm driving now. So I told the guy like, would you guys be opposed to doing that? He was like, no, just have the guy call me. So then he goes to talk to the sales guy in the back one more time. He was like, you know what? If you do this deal today, we can give you 29. And 29 was the, the lowest I was willing to take. I was okay with that because I know the dealership, they have to make money too. And it has to, the deal has to be good for me too. I just can't walk out of the dealership at a huge loss. You're never going to win the game at the dealership, but... I didn't want the loss to be that bad. And I was comfortable with paying 20, or I was comfortable with them giving me 29K. So, uh, in all this negotiation, it only took like 15 minutes. So, I really didn't have to uh, negotiate that much because of all the rebates they have going on. The only thing I was negotiating was my trade in value. So, I, I get the employee discount. I get uh, the Camaro rebate, or no, the uh, the Mustang Conquest rebate, and there's an extra $1,500 rebate too, and so I got all of that, so I had nothing to negotiate but my trade-in, 
and I, I went to uh, I went to a family member's dealership and they told me straight up they honestly just don't want a Mustang at this time of year it's hard to sell and it'll just sit there so the best they would do for me was 24,000 and I, I definitely walked away from that and that's something you have to do like you have to be comfortable with walking away on from a bad deal and I did that a, quite a few times especially for this deal so to be honest will a dealership give you a better deal at the end of the year there's some factors that go into that the short answer is yes they will but you kind of need to do homework you have to know what your vehicle is worth know what you're buying know the rebates and be comfortable with the dealership that you're going to there's still some bad salesmen but the the people that I'm dealing with, they've all been pretty helpful and all been pretty nice with the deal and open and honest about everything. It all comes down to the trade-in value for me, how hard the dealer wants to push. Some dealerships didn't want to make the deal. And there was actually one dealer, the one, the guy was so honest and open about all the numbers. He told, he was honest about the profit they would make the trade-in value like look I can't do anymore this is my bottom line profit this is all I'm making I'm like you know what man I appreciate your honesty and I wanted to do that deal with that guy so bad but the communication just fell somewhere and I've I've been double texting him and he just didn't respond I'm like man first of all I don't double text people at all I hate doing that but this guy I was doing it because he was so nice and upfront I'm like man I gotta get this guy my business because I feel like I'm gonna pull the trigger on the car but I text him last week, no response. Text him over the weekend, like, hey, can you do a swap with this other dealership? Even the dealership that I went to today. And he, he just said, no, I don't know if he honestly didn't want to do the trade. If they didn't want to just sit on the car for a few months. But uh, actually, he did reach back out to me. I, I triple text this guy. You know I'm out of my element if I triple text somebody. I, I, I don't do that. But at this point, I'm like, I'm not even going with them. I just want to see if he's still there or not. Like, did, did he quit? Is he off today? But he came back with me because I inquired a, a 2020 and a 2019. They have both. And I thought I would be able to negotiate a better deal on the 2019 since it's been sitting there for so long. And it was a 2SS, so it's fully loaded. But it costs more with all that. And I didn't want to pay that much, so I thought I could get a, a steeper discount. But initially, they weren't able to move on that one. But today, I told them, like, look, man, I'm at this dealership. And they, this was between the negotiations. I'm like, look, can you swap their, their Camaro with some car that you have? And he didn't get back with me until hours later. Maybe he was busy. I don't know. But this has kind of been... Uh, habit of him not responding so he he sends me a text back maybe I don't know it's like 2 or 3 o'clock I was at this dealership at like 10 o'clock so 5 hours later he's like oh the manager said I can give you an extra thousand dollars off the 2019 Mustang or uh, the 2019 Camaro I'm like uh I'm, I'm set on the 2020 now I told you the color combination and I didn't want to settle because if I got the 2019, I would have been settling. Because if I if I were to do that, I should have made that deal back in October when I first started looking. So with that being said, dealerships are more antsy to fire a deal at the end of the year. It's the end of the month. It's December 30th. And I'm about to go to the dealership now and complete this deal. He was, uh, was pretty quick about it. I hate how long it takes to talk to the finance guy but I don't know that's just how dealerships are set up but they they know what number they can do I, I find it hard that they would just give me an extra four thousand dollars with uh, 15 minutes of negotiation but uh, to answer the question yes dealerships are more likely to make a deal towards the end of the year and this is proof two of the dealerships contacted me back and the third one they offered me 29.5. I still haven't heard back from them, but the guy that I spoke to, he was in used car sales, and he said he was going to contact the counterpart from new car sales to help him out. But I never heard back. And this guy, he he was so helpful. I was looking at a Chevy SS at one point. 
he was so responsive and so helpful, so polite. He was honest about the uh, the trade-in value at first because that dealership, they uh, they didn't give me a lot at first. They offered me 25 on my Mustang at that point, and then that's something I just walked away from. And then uh, another thing to help with negotiation is patience. Like I. I don't think I would walk into the dealership for the first time on the last day of the year. Maybe you can, but uh, I think it helps if you go another time to show face and have your research done so you can know exactly what you can get for your car, know what deals are available, be aware of what rebates are out there. So being uh, patient on the the uh, the value at 29.5, that dealer, he. Uh, after he offered me 25 and he was like, that's the best I can do. He couldn't come down on the price and he couldn't give me more on the trade in. And that was back in, uh, that was early December. And he ended up contacting me back like, hey, we just lowered the price on the Chevy SS. So are you still interested? I'm like, yeah, if uh, we can bump up that trade in value too, that'll, that'll be good for me. So he was like, I'll see what we can do. And uh, maybe an hour later, I got an email from him. He said 29.5, and that's the best that I've gotten recently. So I actually used that email right there as a tool to negotiate this deal at this uh, Feldman Chevy today. So it's good to have things in writing too. Always, always have it in writing. Because that's your proof right there. So if you just say he say, she say, they'll just tell you to go over there. Or they might not even believe you, to be honest. So I think the most important tool that I used for my negotiation today for this end of the year deal was cross shopping because I had to have some kind of reference, something to reference the trading value to on this deal. Because if I had nothing to go by, I, I would have had to settle with the 24000 or 25000 they offered me initially, which was horrible. And I would have ended up in this, uh, I would have still been with this Mustang, which I'm okay with. I just want to do this deal just because it's so much on the hood of these cars right now, I know I can just get a good deal to upgrade my car. So I'm I'm headed to the dealership now and do all the final paperwork. I got all my financing taken care of. And I'm about to go finish it out. Hopefully it doesn't take long. I'm gonna skip all the add-ons and things. I'm just going in the dealership with a check for the amount of the car. I don't want the powertrain warranty. I don't want the tire coverage. That's just not for me. I never get those. So I'm at the dealership now, parked next to the car that I'm about to pick up. Just like that, the deal is done. I'm a new owner of a 2020 Camaro. So, yes, the best time to buy is at the end of the year, at the end of the month. Got the dealers to, uh, to work some numbers for me that they didn't do earlier. Came to the same dealership a couple months ago. The numbers weren't this good, so I had to take them up on this offer. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm going to say goodbye to my Mustang. Hello to the Camaro.